F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? We are your two hosts. I'm Brolic. And I'm Formal. And welcome back to F double R Friend Request Reviews, where friend requests friends to watch Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 6, titled Buy Out. Ah, we back to the regular mix now, man. It's starting to get these episodes down one by one. So, with a title like Buyout, where do you think we going with this? That's tough. It's tough, man. With a title like Buyout. <laughs> so, look, what, last episode, what, Todd killed that random boy. They had the heist. I don't think it's... I don't think it's going to be anything to do with that. I feel like the, I don't know, a buyout. Someone's going to try to buy themselves out of maybe Skylar, try to buy herself out of Watt's life. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, that's a tough, that's a tough title. I don't know. I'm interested to see what we're getting into, though. Who's going to buy themselves out of this game? I don't know, but they do. So if you haven't already, <laughs> Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. The goal is 1K, so make sure you click that button, click that bell, and get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Buy out. Yes. Yes. It's an interesting title. Okay. Oh, this is the prep, or is this the cleanup? This is this the cleanup. Is the cl this is the cleanup. This is the cleanup, is... yeah. So they ain't they ain't addressed the little boy yet. They looking not too happy of of the circumstances, though. There goes the dirt bike. Yeah, this. There's something about watching them dismantle the whole bike that just adds like the emotion to this shit like yep and little by little you gotta watch every single piece going to that barrel you, you feel me piece by piece they showing us mm -hmm. the is there one barrel with the kid in it where's that one at oh shit are they about to answer my question oh man <sighs> yep Oh my god, bro. Mike called this man a ticking time bomb back in episode two. <laughs> and I'm just mm. looking at him like, fuck. Okay, he stayed on the scene, though. It's probably the wrong person to come smoke with him. But I guess we'll see how this turns out. Todd don't even care. He emotionless. Look at him. He did that shit like it was nothing. Yeah, Todd is a character. What's up, Jesse? You gonna swing? Shit happens, huh? Damn. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Nice intro. That man said shit happens, huh? <sighs> yeah, not like that. Any other choice. I've been thinking about this all day, going over and over <clears throat> it in my head, and it was the only way. <sighs> Well, it's, it's not like I wanted to. <laughs> I saw a threat and I took care of it the only way that I could. A threat? He's trying to justify the, the hell kid out of was waving at us. The whole point of this thing was that no one was supposed to know that we were there, right? They got <laughs> points on both sides, don't. Yeah, it's valid. Why don't you step outside for a few minutes so we can talk this through? Oh, yeah, you know that the, the three musketeers got to do their votes and shit. <laughs> I've got connections. Here, my, my uncle's got his hookups in prison who I think could be a real help to us. Hmm. Yeah, step out. Step out, bruh. But there go, there go. I keep asking about Todd. It's just getting deeper. <laughs> that dude whacked John. What if he told somebody? What if he 
just mentioned it in passing. We can't know what someone exactly. Would've... We can't know because Ricky Hitler there shot him. <laughs> we and what was that crap about his uncle with the with the prison connections? It's just some bullshit intimidation move. Come mm. on. Exactly. Don't worry me then. It's just flexing. All right. It seems to me that we have three options here, and none of which are ideal. Three options. One. Exactly. We most likely have to pay him to keep quiet. And God only knows we've got enough of that going on. Huh. <laughs> Hazard pay. Thanks, Mike. We dispose of him. Mm hmm. Which leaves us option three. But we keep him close, under our control. Option three would be my choice. Of course it would. Mm. Two to one. Sorry, yep. kiddo. While out here keeping the. Oh, what's this? Still in. Uh huh. I totally made a break. The next time you bring a gun to a job without telling me. Huh, sir. <laughs> That's crazy because I literally asked about the gun like. Uh, you did. Last you did. episode. Mm hmm. I was like, damn, why do you even, like, what? This man kept the tarantula though. Look at him, sick bastard. Smiling over there and shit. You feel me? Happy as hell. He got himself a cookie. Okay, okay, what we got here? Oh, it's a Mike stakeout. I'm like, who has a granddaughter in this show? Oh, yeah, Mike. Yep. Ever since that conversation, they've been on his ass. He knows, though. <laughs> I seen I seen what was on that paper. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Say it then. Let's hear it. It said Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> That's funny that you caught that because I didn't even catch this shit. It's about to hit him with a Salamanca you note. I can see. The glove on said no fingerprints. <laughs> Kumbaya, <laughs> my lord. Looking at it. There you go. <laughs> Dummy. First off, Miracle Whip is not mayonnaise, okay? Looks <laughs> like it doesn't even taste like it. That's facts. Secondly, I agree with that. Every time it's like they put on it. Facts. Yeah. Even pros make mistakes. Not when they got bugs all up in your shit. How's it going? Oh, you know. I mean, well, this little munchkin, I could just keep her forever. There we go. Keep her forever. They keep saying that shit. Marie got a they little glow to her, man. She probably she do, do need some kids. They trying to take Holly, man. Uh oh, here we go. Hey, what is it? The, the kids? They're safe. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. I just miss them so much. I don't know what to do here. I. Yeah. It's a tough spot to be in. Man. She's trying to she's trying to get advice and she can't even speak about it. Mm-hmm. What well, she needs advice on. There are things you just don't know. You just don't know. That if you knew if you knew you'd never speak to me again. Again. And you a thief. <laughs> you a klepto out this bitch. You're not going to say it. I will. Skylar, you have to forgive yourself for Ted. Oh. What? Oh, he my God. Beating yourself up. We didn't start the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walt told you. Please don't blame me. I knew I it. I practically forced him to, and I wasn't going to mm. say anything, but I cannot. I, I knew if she heard that Walt said it, it's going to be over. Hmm. I feel better. Marie said I feel better though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is the key signs of a gossiper. Like she feels better that she got yo shit off her chest. <laughs> like I love Marie, bro. What the hell, man? I feel so much better. Man, she really said that shit to her. Oh shit. Now expanding their search desert behind his house. 
Investigators are asking. How the hell does this boy make his eyes tear up like that? Like just a moment's notice. Acting class 101. He a beast. And in a, a year, a year and a half, once we've cooked through this methylamine and made our money, there will be plenty of time for soul searching. <laughs> Did you hear what he just said, yo? And make sure that this never happens again. My man said a year, a year and a half, and then we could soul search. But how much more destroying your soul is, is you going to do within that year and a half? <laughs> like, I mean, we seen what the first year did. Exactly, right? Like, <laughs> how could you say that? How could and you say that? it's only getting that? worse. What? Only getting worse. What, Jesse? What? I hate when I don't know. What was the sound about that whistle? That song? What? What was it? What was Jesse thinking just now? Might as well get this over with. Come in, join us. Come in, join us. Oh, shit, they had a... Uh, emergency meeting? Where your peach of a brother-in-law has taken a keen interest in my activities. Oh. You're just telling me this now? Did you know about this? He just told me. And I <laughs> said, calm down. I've got it under control. Oh, well. I was about to say, man. Heisenberg ain't really pop up this episode. Here he goes. He been keeping him a little tame. I'm out. Oh. Mike is out. Huh. Yeah. Um, I'm out too. About that. Actually, Miss White, um, I'm out too. I figured Jesse was going to be the one, especially with the kid dying, but I didn't expect Mike. So Mike and Jesse cornering Walt with this decision. <clears throat> Anymore. So, um, I mean, you got tired. Retiring, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes, Walking well. away from the meth, not the meth one. Jesse and I'll be taking our two thirds and we're selling it. Ooh. I've got a connection, a guy I knew from my time with Frank. Huh. Those legacy costs that you're so fond of, you won't have to worry about anymore. And then I will be going on my way. Damn. And Jesse, too. That's not a bad proposition, though. It's like. not. But this is when the. This is when you truly see if they're the Three Stooges or if Walt is the kingpin and the real boss of them all. Cooking. <clears throat> <clears throat> Look at Jesse the way he looking at him. He'll be selling to my competitors. Huh. Five million isn't pennies. It's more money than I've ever seen. And when it comes down to True. it, are we in the math business? Or the money business? Mmm. It's a great question. Great question. Are we in this business to make money? Or to make meth? There's one gallon as discussed. You take that back home to your people, test it. If you're satisfied, I can get the other 665. I gotta tell you, this is worth it just to get that blue stuff of yours off the market. Whoo! Come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. Blue stuff will be off the market, right? This other party wouldn't be a problem for you. And then I'm looking at Increase my market share here, Mike. No. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Here's a new deal for you. Then I'll pay you 15K a gallon for the full thousand gallons. It's not mine to sell, Declan. Declan. Well, then. All right, that's his no name. No deal, Mike. Well, I mean, he basically told him just what Walt told they as. You, there's still competition out there. What the hell are you doing? Mm. We ain't playing like that. Why don't you come over here? Mm. To my house. Must be Jesse. <laughs> it couldn't be anyone else. Like <laughs> when you uh, when you started this thing, mm -hmm. did you ever dream of having five million dollars? All you needed was seven hundred and thirty-seven thousand. Yes, there we go. Let's unpack it, Jesse. Jesse look high right now, though. So Jesse, hope you ain't been using it again. Jesse, have you heard of a company called Gray Matter? 
Okay. Actually, I was the one who named it. That's crazy. They bringing this shit back up. Oh, it was just small time. We had a couple patents pending, but nothing earth shattering. And I sold my share to my two partners. Mm -hmm. I took a buyout for five thousand uh, dollars. I hate that he's using this example. Oh, it's so good. I was literally asking about this shit like season three, I think, or something. Before I had broken. point one six. Billion as of last Friday. Ooh. I look it up every week. He he looking I look up it up every, every week. week. Sold my share for five thousand. For five thousand dollars. I hate that he's using this fucking example. You asked me if I was in the meth business or the money business. I'm in the empire business. Mm. I think it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What, like, what's she gonna say? Why don't you Beautiful. stay for dinner? Nah, no, Mr. White, I'm gonna go. Stay. Mm. Why not? <sighs> this shit is. <laughs> that man says, see? She know. She gonna have another moment? She gonna jump in the pool? I, uh, I eat a lot of frozen stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I can't get one. They cover all the details. <laughs> like, Hell yeah, I'm stoked for this lasagna. And then you nuke it. And the cheese gets all scabby on top. Yep. And the scabby top is where it's at, though. Yeah, it is bad. So, hey, uh, how's business? It's going really well. It's like you're, a, you're a great manager. <laughs> what else did he tell you about? Mm, did he tell you that I fucked Ted? Okay, <laughs> here we go. It's, it's, gonna, it's coming. She's about to get him. Did you also tell him about my affair? I knew she was going to address this. She kept, she kept her cool with Marie. She was going to come home and spaz. Go ahead and take your steak to go, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he the little kid ass. He the little kid in between his parents right now. Like... Uh, with the bottle. Uh, go ahead and top that cup off again. She told me that she was counting the days until my cancer came back. She did say that. That shit. This business is all I have left now. Huh. And you want to take it away from me. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't, don't word it like that, bruh. And you want to take... Come on, what? It's kind of what's going on here, though. Oh, shit. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? I thought you might try something stupid. Huh? <laughs> it's not a request. Mmm. Hello. Stop the deal's playing. going down tomorrow. It's happening. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Mmm. Got it? Oh, I think you need to listen to me. No, Walter. The last thing I need to do is listen to you now sit down that's crazy i was so excited for their adventures together and it's already coming to a halt <laughs> it like, just damn, started too you feel me it just <laughs> kicked off and they're already trying to put an end to it i knew it wasn't gonna be an easy road though so i've got something i need to attend to before this deal happens but for some reason i don't trust you along with the methylamine it's wild seeing seeing this happen right now He's supposed to be King Highs right now. And he out here getting cuffed to the radiator? <laughs> More Heisenberg? You get it? Get that glass to shatter. Oh, he didn't even have to pull that hard. Walk, come on, bro. You didn't have to whip <laughs> it like that. You could have eased it. Something else. This dude is something else, bruh. Oh, that shit hurt. Oh my god. Yo! Did you see the fucking. That man put a hole in this shit. Yo, <laughs> he went in. Unwarranted DEA persecution. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys don't even have warrants for these tales, do you? I have filed 
for a temporary restraining order against the DEA on behalf of Mr. Ehrmantraut. <laughs> you know what Judge Papadumian hates? Police harassment of a senior citizen. Man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you old, Mike. <laughs> Take it for what it is. <laughs> and I like your suits too, so I like your ties and all that, man. It's all good, bro. <laughs> What you thought, man? Out of my way, you sit down. Mike, Mike, hold on. You get your five million, we both do it. And he gets his methylamine, all right? Just hear him out. Is that true, Walter? I mean, he kind of said that to you already. Everybody wins. He said he'll cook and give you ten, and you could leave. Everybody wins. Here we go, the meth man at it again. <laughs> yes sir yes sir alright there we have it episode 6 in the books buy out so you thought it was Jesse who was going to be bought out but it was really Mike's idea because he was being tailed so hard and now Jesse wants to jump in with him so how you feel about this episode buyout? Honestly, this episode was crazy, man. I feel like it, it really kind of, <clears throat> at least for me, this one, it, it got into everybody's psyche a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. and that I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy moments like that. Like, I don't feel like this one was too crazy paced or anything like that. Like, but I think it just gave us some real impactful moments looking into these characters' situations that they're going through. Like, because yeah. this shit is like, it's. I feel like the point in time that they're in right now, like everything is fresh and new, but it's still it's all old, right? Like they, because they've been doing this for a year. Mike's been doing this forever, and like, mm -hmm. but it's still fresh because it's under new management and there's new obstacles for all of them and stuff like that. And nobody's really on the same page. Like, like I was saying before, like <clears throat> on our episode two, how Gus. You know he's been building this infrastructure for decades like and now walt is trying to build this shit up in a matter of days like <laughs> it, it's just crazy so i really like that about this episode so there's definitely some some good some some scenes and stuff that i definitely want to jump into so yes, yes i think we could start from the beginning uh just keep it simple right nice little flow mm -hmm. to the end talk is uh the beginning with todd you know them cleaning up the mess that they created in the last episode um from killing that that boy and it, it was just kind of crazy, man, because watching them break apart each piece of the bike and just going through that process, it really just added more emotion to the situation. And then I also love that Jesse didn't go anywhere near that the whole time. Like, like I said, during the reaction, it just kind of hammers in that nail of like who Jesse really is and like what's important to him and the people that he doesn't want to get hurt during you know the, the business that they run in like so i yeah. thought that was kind of cool and it also spread a little bit more or shed a little bit more light on on todd's character at least for me like because even before when it happened i was super curious like man why did todd even had a gun on him like like i know they do shady things but is it that shady to where you feel like you got to have a pistol on you and stuff like that and i feel like all of that kind of got answered like he was not supposed to have that gun on him mike was mm -hmm. was you know like pressed him about that which is crazy right because when when him and and i think you actually brought this up right when jesse went on the ride along with mike jesse never had a gun yep. so yep. yeah so like shit like that is crazy <laughs> and it got me even more interested because you know i again i don't think we're done with todd i think we're gonna see him um, plenty more he made that little uh, sly remark about his connections in prison and stuff like that yep. so you know just one of those wild cars that's just out there I really don't know what they're gonna do with him when he's gonna pop up or, or when he's gonna cause trouble but I, I really enjoyed his presence in this episode because he got me kind of you know still thinking more about Todd and what he got going on um, and then uh, some other things that I, I really really enjoyed about this episode was again just what happened what you no, said no, no. I didn't uh, say again just everyone's just getting into everyone's psyche man so like walt for me was a little bit of a mess in this episode like because <laughs> it's like again like he he wants to be gus but he's not there yet and it's like he's making these crazy moves and 
he doesn't really have control like and he 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 keeps like acting like he does like in every situation he's like you know like 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 when him and Jesse was talking and stuff like that he talked about I'm into building empires and stuff like that his wife came in and he kind of gave her that look like yeah it's okay right like you know what i'm saying like i feel like that was him trying to show jesse like bro this is me like i run shit period like you know what i'm saying we already know how him and his relationship with his wife's been going it's been terrible mm -hmm. but it's like deep down he really don't got control of nothing like like he he got these three well not these three these other two mike and jesse right yep and he's sitting there talking about things like because i say so and, and stuff like that but yet they out here still taking votes for every decision and stuff right but then when they want to buy out what can he even do he can't even do nothing like he had to sit there and and well kind of take it because he 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 worked his way into getting things <laughs> back into his favor yep. but it just i guess the point i'm really trying to make is like Walt isn't the boss that he he's trying to portray and yeah it's i feel like it's causing more issues than it than it's you know fixing them right now with the people that he keeps you know in his circle and i feel like walt is actually starting to understand that now like again the conversation that he had with jesse my wife wants me dead i don't lost that like so nothing nothing really matters the, the meth game is all i have like so it, oh my yo this episode yeah. is so good bro like because yeah. jesse even told him when we first started all you wanted was 737 that i love that then, they brought that up but then but Walt then tells him hit him with the yeah, exactly because yep. with the gray matter shit like, like I, I love that gray matter shit i love that because i think in it was either season three or four Mm -hmm. I forgot what it was, but we were talking about Walt's psyche again, like his ego and stuff like that. And I had mentioned that at one, I think we was talking about like when he doesn't get his flowers enough and stuff and how it messes with his ego. Yeah. And I was like, it's crazy because back in his company, he could have been a millionaire or a billionaire or whatever. Like, and they never like, they never really touched on that. Like ever since he burnt his bridge with old girl, like they never really mm -hmm. talked about that company at all. Like, so the fact that they brought it back up in this conversation in this episode uh yeah yes. that was fire because it's yes. such a good example it is such a good example to what walt's going through no matter how i feel about him like mm -hmm. that is such a good example you have like i have no reason no i have to rally behind him with that one i'm just like Bro, yeah he's right 2.5 billion he right. you sold your billion. shit for five thousand five thousand thousand <laughs> And he's it right. It just goes to show how personal that shit is to him and why mm -hmm. he's acting the way he is oh, acting. Like. Oh, he also said, I look up that shit every week. Like, every week. Every week. I'm looking every at the, week. the stats of the company because that could have been me. Could have. And ain't no telling how long that every week has thing has started. Shit. He could have been doing that for 30 plus yeah. years looking at the stocks every so, single week. That just goes to show you the level of like how much uh walt is really invested in this this game now like he's mm -hmm. fully invested now like in now that his wife and his kid his kids is gone and his wife is completely uninterested in him mm -hmm. the only thing he really does have left is this meth game so i yeah i also love that 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 scene too as well it was one of my favorite conversations between them um yeah man I, I love it i love it that's i'm his, loving that, it like, like he said that's his baby it that's, is. That's his baby. You can't take his baby away, man. Listen, we in the empire business, baby. The you know empire, saying? damn. <laughs> that 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 yeah. that was crazy, man. Like I said, mm -hmm. Walt is turning into a hood nigga, like, and freaking. <laughs> there, yeah, there was just some really good uh, dialogue and, and conversations. Like I loved the fact that like Mike and Jesse really is like trying to buy out because it, it was that was like kind of unpredictable for me i'm sorry if y'all predicted that when y'all was watching this show then kudos to y'all y'all caught y'all catch all the little bits but i was like for me it was really i know i said skylar in the beginning but like yeah. it was really between her and jesse that i was really okay. thinking about i just was just like i don't think jesse's ready for that move just yet so it was it was kind of surprising to see jesse and mike jump up there and say that they both want to buy out but like i feel like <clears throat> again they had great reasons like this this episode really again it just went into everyone's psyche of like why they thinking the way they thinking really well like and mm -hmm. i feel like 
um yeah they had really good reasons and like walt even had some good counter like offers for them i don't know if he truly would have cooked by himself and gave mike 10 mil and let him walk away but like that was a great counter offer like mike should have took that why not like it, like it, in my opinion if walt was really willing to do that for mike and mm -hmm. mike going against that i kind of like i feel like like uh what's what's the word i want to use i don't want to say like mike well shit, maybe mike I, I feel like maybe mike does look at walt as an enemy now like n no type of like i know they're kind of partnering together but ever since he killed gus like he's probably looks at walt as a straight up enemy so like the fact that he didn't take the offer of just getting 10 mil from walt and still having mm -hmm. the, the opportunity to walk away it's probably because he feels like walt is an enemy and, and wants to stop his 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 reign right maybe it's not even so much about i don't want to be around you when you go off because you're a time bomb maybe it's more so now i just don't want you to go off in general like i every everyone needs to stop this time bomb we all need to stop walter white mm. so i don't know that that's 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 kind of it kind of just hit me right there i don't okay. know i might be having an epiphany you know <laughs> who protects the family from the man who protects the family it takes nah, a village that, I think that's a good callback, the whole ticking time bomb shit. And you might you might be on to something about that, how Mike m might want to stop the, you know, the time bomb, the time bomb from going on. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good call out. But um, something I did want to know was how did you feel about the whole conversation between um, Skylar and, and Marie? Because I felt like that that scene right there was so good because... The entire time, you know, Skylar's going through her emotions and she's like kind of breaking down a little bit, you know, on the verge of kind of slipping. And then Marie hits her with the the gut shot, you know. So I, how how you feel about that? I mean that 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 was a <laughs> it was a funny conversation, low key, because of how <laughs> Marie be acting, man. She the ultimate tea spiller, like she need to be on the <laughs> Wendy Williams show, but goddamn. <laughs> It was kind of crazy, though, because I remember calling out, like, the fact that Skylar, through all the shit that's been happening, she's always been, like, you know, kind of on the pedestal a bit. Like, even when Walt did, they had to make up the gambling skit, like, Walt was getting, yep. you know, the grunt of all the abuse, kind of, like, from, yeah, yeah. from, the, from the story. So, it's just, like, really interesting seeing Skylar on that other side and then being confronted by Marie about it, because... You know, scholars confronted Marie about things before that that never really that didn't go too well. So like, mm -hmm. it's it's just crazy seeing Skylar on the other end like of the, of things because at the end of the day, man, you did you committed adultery. You deserved to get your you know your wrist slapped or whatever for that. Like, yep. But she never really had to face anybody for that except for Walt. Like, and even I would even say that she got off easy with Walt. She kicked that man out the crib and shit like that, you know? So it was kind of interesting seeing that, but in perfect Skylar fashion, she internalized it and, 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 and brought it to where it, I feel like it kind of needed to be brought. Like, because I think <clears throat> her not reacting to Marie was a good move because she possibly knows like, maybe I would get too emotional and maybe I would, you know say too much right say mm -hmm. too much like like you know fuck fuck me you know doing adultery how about the fact that this motherfucker is blowing motherfuckers you know what i'm saying like shit like yeah, that yeah, like yeah, sometimes yeah. you know and he did you talk too much so i think it was good that she swallowed that and, and brought it home um but marie is just too funny with the last comment she made talk about she felt better getting <laughs> that shit off her chest like and i still and i and i I know I'm holding on to this. This might probably never amount or lead to anything, but I'm still thinking that them kids, man, I don't know, man. Something about Holly first, first Hank talking about, I don't want to give her up. And now Marie talking about she'll never <laughs> got to go back home. I feel yeah. like they foreshadowing the, the, the future guardians of, of Holly and Flynn. I don't know, or maybe just Holly, but still I keep, I keep seeing, I keep hearing it. I'm holding on to that prediction. It's mine. Okay. Season five. We'll put that in the safe. Yep. Put we'll that unpack in the box. that when it when it needs to be unpacked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, man. And, um, what, what else? else? What else? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? I mean, well, we had the DEA. They've been kind of doing their thing. I will. One thing I don't. 
not I don't have too much to say about the DEA. They've been, you know, doing their investigation the way they should. But one thing I will say is that freaking bug. Thank God that they have that right now. Cause the pressure, the amount of pressure they putting on Mike and shit is insane. Like without that bug, it would have been over. So like the fact that they keep showing Mike listening to the bug too, just reminding us that it's there, like really lets you know like how important that freaking bug is. Because yeah, I think Mike would have been snatched up. He would have been like he would have been got caught yeah. slipping like without that bug. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Definitely. Easy. Definitely. <clears throat> easy, easy. So you know, obviously still interested to see Oh, actually, you know what's another kind of cool thing is that I remember like way back in maybe season two, I used to talk about how we see Hank and Gomi kind of the, doing the dynamic duo thing but we never really got that in the show we kind of finally getting it and that's that's one thing i kind of like because for a second i was salty about gomez like i'm just like you let your man down like you know because he was always with the boss like yeah you reaching you reaching mm -hmm. so it's kind of nice to see him and hank doing a partner thing even though hank is like promoted is, is he officially promoted now or not yeah yeah yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a yeah, cause you got the yeah. office and all that. The office so, is the old uh the old office of buddy. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. So even though he officially promoted, he's still kinda in the trenches. Cause I was even asking about that. Is he still gonna be in the trenches? Is he still going So yeah, I I, I like that we see some more dynamic duo with Hank and, and Gomez. So you know, hey, shout out to them boys. Shout out to them because they have the ultimate duel partners in any TV show in history. I don't know for what anybody say. Any TV show? You, know, you can't any, say movies. Yeah. Yeah. You know, dude. Yeah. But um, we got Samuel Jackson and The Rock and the other guys. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Aim for the bushes. Um, <laughs> Ain't no better. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you know, for this episode. There was a, there was a lot to unpack. Like you said, it was really getting into the psyche of all the characters and stuff and where they're at right now. And yeah, it's, you know, it's shit. We're midway through the season, and you already know what what, what happens when we're midway. Shit starts to ramp up. Really shit do. starts to change. This felt Can like we... an episode that was like, oh, shit gonna hit the fan next. Oh, oh, best believe, man. <laughs> the episodes are very, very close, and I cannot wait to dive in. So, if you had to rate this episode, what would you rate this episode? This one was cool. I'll give this one like a solid eight. Yeah. Eight, eight is like my neutral, enjoyable episode. Like nothing like yeah. really wowed me, but mm -hmm. still great episode. I, I got a lot on my mind thinking about how these characters, where they're at in their story. Like yep. this being the last season and shit. Like it's, it's like everything is tying itself together, but things are still unraveling. So this, yeah, yep. I'll give it a solid eight. I really like this one. <clears throat> Yeah, man. There we have it. An eight for my boy Formo. If you haven't already, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment in. Don't forget to subscribe. The goal is 1K, and the only way we're going to get there is if you click that button, click that bell, and get notified when we go live. That double R's out. Peace. Peace.